This video is for my nephew Jacob, who had a very good question about why you have to bore a cylinder if you replace piston rings. And you not only have to bore the cylinder, but you have to put oversized pistons and oversized piston rings in there, either 10, 20, or 30 thousandths depending on how far you can go with the particular engine you're working on. And right here is a ridge of material that's always left where the piston rings wear into the cylinder up to but not including this ridge. And right before they hit this ridge there will be more wear. It will be bigger. The cylinder will be a little bit bigger right below this ridge because there's always much more wear right below this ridge is when the air fuel mixture fires it really pushes those piston rings out against this cylinder wall and they rub really hard right here and then the pressure dissipates as the piston goes down so the cylinder gets less and less wear further and further down and there's never any wear at all right there where that ridge is is the piston doesn't always come completely to the top. So there's a little bit of pit, um, cylinder there that the piston rings never ever touch. And then if you were to see a, a drawing of this piston, you'd see an, you could see an exaggerated uh, wear pattern where there's less wear here, more wear here. And if you put new rings in here the top ring on the piston would come up barely touch this ridge and it would just be like a hammering effect on that top ring that brand new top ring and it would hit that ridge every time it comes up because those rings those old rings are wore down a little bit so they don't hit this ridge so hard but new nice new fat thick rings on an old piston would come up here and hit this ring ridge hard every time and it would damage those new rings so there wouldn't be any point in putting them in there so and the second question I'm going to answer that he didn't have but for, in case anybody else is wondering this happens to be a high compression interference engine and if you don't want to know what an interference engine is an interference engine is one that is such a high compression that the timing chain and everything has to be just right because if the valves and the pistons are not timed absolutely correct then they will hit each other and if the timing chain or belt breaks while the engine is running you get pieces of valve right there just like that broken pieces of valve laying there and you get damaged pistons like see that hole in the piston where that piece of valve went through the piston so that's why it's recommended that if you have an interference engine that you replace the timing belt or chain whichever it has every 50,000 miles to make to pre prevent that from happening you don't want it to break while the engine's running So this engine would need pistons, cylinders bored out, and oversized pistons and oversized rings. And of course, new timing chains and all new gaskets.